take two. That demon voice popped up again. I just went in and shut it off. I got to learn how to use my microphone better. Anyways, hi everybody. Welcome to Two OGs for Constitution Island Style. I'm Antoinette, your hostess, coming to you from Deer Island, New Brunswick, Canada, located in the Bay of Bundy, but I can see Eastport, Maine, USA. So I'm that close to the U.S. border. I want to welcome all returning Fiber family members, new Fiber family members. And if it's your first time here and you want to join the family, want to have a lot of fun, and have a sister slash brotherhood because everybody's welcome, um, click subscribe below. Click the bell. All. And hopefully YouTube will notify you when I upload a video. Which has not been a lot lately because I'm working a lot. So um, this video is, as you can see by the title, is Happy Mail, but it's more of acquisitions than I bought. Now, I've already opened up the packages because we did the first part of the video and we're only for playback to edit. It's like, oh my heavens, it's that demon voice again. So I'm going to stop this here and double check to make sure that I don't have the demon voice. I'll be right back with you. Okay, I'm back. No demon voice. Um, the cutting in and out. When I did my research, if it's cutting in and out of my mic, sometimes it is the bandwidth. So I may have to adjust that during the editing process. Again, I don't edit a lot, but I do want to try to give good quality video. So I'm trying. Bear with me. The first thing that I got was this. It is a granny square blocking board, okay? Um, and it's just not for granny squares. You can also use it for other types of squares, which I'm going to show you. It comes with all, it comes with all these metal dials. And all you do is... And, we'll, and I'll do a better tutorial on this when I go to blocks and blocks I'm doing. You just put your pins here and here and here, whatever the measurements are for your block. And it'll give you nice crisp edges. This is just, which I'll show this later in the video. Um, you find places where to pin your block out. And you can do your block. And the nice thing is, you finish a block, put it on, steam it, if it's acrylic, and while it's drying, you can be making the next block, and so on and so on, and get your pile done. And then once it's all together, it'll be easier to sew it together. And when I finish my blankets, then I do a final block using blocking wires and all that stuff. I got this off Amazon, right around 40 Canadian, and I had it in two days. Amazon. Speaking of Amazon, I'm actually going to be setting up an affiliate link, I think, for Amazon. We'll see. So if you just happen to want to support the channel, <laughs> you could use my affiliate link. I'm working on it. Working on it. I've got a couple of affiliates working in the works. Um, click on it. Do your shopping. Don't cost you nothing. Get a little small percentage back, and I can put it back into the channel. Every little bit helps. The next thing I got was this. It was the new camera. Well, new to me. It's refurbished. Now, what I used for doing my tutorials all this time was my Nikon L840. And I've had this probably 10, 12 years. And it's a great camera. It does. It takes beautiful pictures and it does okay video. Um, it was in uh, 480dp. 480p. Which isn't even high. Which isn't even high def. High def is uh, seven twenty, and then you get into ten eighty, and then four K. I don't. I've watched, and it's not necessary to film in four K. The standard is ten eighty, and even seven twenty. Um, it served me well for the tutorials that I've done, but I wanted to up my game a little bit for you, make it a little bit better, because I noticed, you know, sometimes it'd be grainy and that. Um, I did get the two LED lights to shine down to make lighting is better 
you know, when I do a video uh, for a tutorial now, um, as well as I, you know, of course I have my game on my mic. Um, this does not have a mic jack. So I mean, I've got to figure out how to possibly do, I, I can do a voiceover for the tutorial. So this is it. It's the Nikon Cool Picks B500, which was the next generation after the 840. Now, this one has the capabilities of uh, Bluetooth, NF NFC, and Wi-Fi, which means I can transfer the video to the computer wirelessly without having to take the SD card out, plug it into the computer, and do all that. So that's a big thing. Um, it films in 16 megapixels. It does full HD movies slash videos. Um, so, yeah, um, this was from a third-party seller on uh, Best Buy, but they have warranty with it, and it came out of Quebec, and that's the book. It's nice that it came in its original box, and this is the camera. Now, of course, I've already done the video, so the batteries are in it, the date set, all that good stuff. And this is it here. I got to put the string on for the, and the, and here's the, here's the kicker. The accessories I have for that one fit this one, i.e. the AC power, uh, lens cap, and all that good stuff. Uh, let me see here. I'll turn it on. And that's the camera. And it will, it will zoom in and out. If you want to see the side zoom. So it's got a fairly good zoom on it. And over here, it has AV out, USB, HDMI, and of course, AC power. And that's right there on that side right there. Um, goes on a tripod, standard tripod. The batteries. Are right there. And the SD cards right there. Now up here. Oops. It's just flat black. My other one it's plum Pretty color but colors <laughs> colors doesn't make make the video any better but this is the next generation but it's a point and shoot when you go up to the 900s the uh there's d d900 b900 you're getting into interchangeable lenses i don't want anything to do with interchangeable lenses i don't want to have to worry about aperture iso all that stuff there i want to hook the camera up Put it on the tripod, film, tutorials. I'm not in it to be a professional photographer. I just want to do better, you know, a little bit higher definition videos. Oops, sorry. Why oh, doesn't want to go in here? Oh, got to put this on. I had the original box for my... Other Nikon, but when I was moving here, I purged it. And it came with an HDMI cable and a strap. But I'm not going to use the strap. But I will attach the lens. And I bought a six foot HDMI micro because it'll hook to the TV. And then I'll be able to watch, make sure I stay in frame better. So that was my acquisitions happy mail it was happy to me so the other thing i want to show you is during the live i showed falcor i did finish falcor and i actually went back and watched the never ending story movie and i noticed it's not part of the pattern but i'm going to add it this is falcor i am so proud of this i'm going to guess i'm going to make another one this is falcor his little mouth but he actually does look like Falcor from the movie. 
Um, the yarn that she used in the pattern, you, you, they don't make it anymore. It's an eyelash yarn. This is eyelash yarn. I, I got this from Hershner's, I think. Um, down his back to his tail. Now, in the movie, if you notice, on the sides of his face, like right, like right here, on both sides of his face, there is fur. Happened to be in the dollar store last week when I went, spent the day with uh, Kathy for my birthday. Um, we were in the dollar store and I found this. Okay. It was like four dollars. It's four dollars for this. There's um three meters. It's a faux fur trim. But I'm going to put this on each side of Falcor course. So stay tuned for uh, the final update. It wasn't part of the pattern. And this wouldn't be good. I don't know how good this would be for for yeah. See it's not it's not for crocheting. I'd have it it's uh here I'll show you what it looks like. I don't regret opening this but we'll take this off. It is more of a trim like that. Now I could cut this in half and use it for uh, trim down his back because I double stranded, well, I think four stranded the eyelash yarn because it's a fine eyelash yarn. I need a little bit thicker of an eyelash yarn, maybe some faux fur. But this is perfect for just cutting a small to put in to his face there and just sew it on. So that's what I'm going to do. They only had two of them, and I bought them both. For four bucks. I thought it was worth it, but that's my felt core. Hey, I'm, 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 just, I'm new at Amigurumi. So, the other thing that I wanted to show you and talk to you about is, you guys know I work on the ferry. I'm up and down every 20 minutes. <laughs> Excuse me, loading, unloading, doing my job, taking care of the bathrooms, making sure they're clean, um, just making sure the coffee's made for the skipper, um, and just doing deck checks and everything. So it, I do get busy. I'm on my feet on night shift, 12 hours for two days, and then the other two are five hours. Daytime, those are 12 and a half hour shifts, but it's a 13 hour shift because I'm there. Half, we have to be there half hour early to untie the boat, get everything ready. Anyways. So, because of that, I, I, I made the mistake a few times and took things that were, you know, you had to pay attention to the pattern and you lose your place and blah, blah, blah. Especially with cables, it's no fun to frog back cables and try that. It's almost impossible. It's not, it's not impossible, but it's, it's, it's a pain. So, I had this book, and you guys remember when I showed you this book, 200 Crochet Blocks. By the way, this is written in UK terms. Hmm. I made a note on front of the book in UK terms so I can because there's no such thing as a single crochet in UK it's a double crochet treble or half treble or half treble is a double a half double crochet treble is a double crochet and a double treble is a treble so I just started the other day I grabbed a bag of yarn went into my scrap jar there and just grabbed a bunch of yarn threw it in a bag and took it with me so I made three blocks on the last shift. The first one I made was this one. Like I said, these were all scraps. That's the first one I made. And this one was called... I, I'm trying to keep them in their page so I can put what, um, what block they are. This was called the Tricolor Square. And this was made with all the leftovers from my Seaside Sampler. So I did that one. Then I did this one here. It was called Granny Stripes. I haven't sewn the ends in on this one yet. This one here, I, you pick three colors. And this is just like some Karen Simply Soft. There's some Tent Sail. Um, and I don't know what that one, what that one there. Oh, that one there is from my Seaside Sampler. So none of these have been blocked, but that's the Granny Granny Stripes. It's just like a shepherd. real easy pattern. This one is called Solid Square, and this was just some leftover. <laughs> Hold, it's bright. This is the Craft Smart uh, neon I used in my 
pick a mix cow with uh, least ladybird and the metallic that you, sorry i don't know if you can see the you, know, if I, yeah, you can see the metallic that is red heart with love that was left over from a dress i did for my niece so you know i can work on these on the boat so i'm just doing what am i going to do with them who knows i'm just gonna make a stack of granny squares or blocks can make a blanket pillow purse who knows that's the beauty. You make yourself a stack of blocks and you can make all kinds of things. So that's what I was on. Um, I've been I'm, I've been working on my dive top, which I'm taking with me today when I go to get the pickup undercoated. Um, I'm on the last eight repeats of rows one through 16 on the front panel. And once that's done, all I have to do is pick up stitches for around the neck and it's finished. Block it well, and, and drop the stitches. And I may video as I begin to drop the stitches because it's drop stitches all the way down along the cables. So maybe that's what I'll, I will, I will, you know, do an overhead shot and say, okay, hold your breath because we're fixing to let this drop and drop her down. We'll see. Um, other than that, I've been looking at, as I have been inventorying my yarn, the craft room makeover, um, I didn't realize I had so much yarn. Again, ordered some boxes, put some mystery boxes together, and um, that'll be a later video. We'll talk a bit more in detail. You know, I can put a decent price on my boxes because I bought all my yarn on sale. Nothing is full price. Um, your biggest cost will probably be the shipping because I won't pay the shipping. You want to buy the yarn, you pay your shipping. Ship worldwide. Um, and I'll talk about that in a separate video. I'm just trying to get this done so I can get it up, uploaded because I've got to leave and catch the 1130 ferry. But I wanted to put a video out because I haven't had one out since the live. And I want to get regular at putting content, at least one video a week. For now, three years, I'm retiring at 65. I'm 62. So I'm retiring officially at 65 from, you know, I may work part-time, casual here and there. But I'm going to enjoy what time I have left on this earth. Um, hubby taught me that. So... Um, that's what that was the big thing getting my new camera to film two or three tutorials at a time and then schedule them you know for them to go live live as in on um, on the channel because you can do that you can schedule when it'll be released other than that that's all I have for today so it's I'm at 16 minutes and 34 seconds good I'm trying not to make my videos too long because people get bored so, remember, hug smiles and happiness, pass it on, make the world a better place. I hope whatever you're doing, you're staying safe, you're staying healthy, you're staying happy, doing what it is that makes you happy. Here's bye for now from Deer Island. I'll see you in the next video, and I love you guys. Thank you for helping me get through all of this past couple of months. And I will see you in the next video.